Hello players, the rumour mill is busy churning out loaves of new Nvidia GPUs, but will they be worth buying? If you can find them. Since September 2020, trying to obtain anything new in the tech world, whether that's a CPU or a GPU, has been <laughs> very difficult. And that's been especially true for any car from the NVIDIA 30 series. And I also expect this will be true for the recently announced 12 gigabyte 3060. I mean, there's still a huge backlog of all the 30 series partner cards and the Founders Edition cards can only be bought at MSRP if you have a little help from the gods. All praise Lord gave it. <laughs> so what can be done about it? Well, not much, unfortunately. Really, you'll just have to get a lucky refresh. Um, Nvidia's answer is seems to be release more models, more models of all the cards. But if manufacturing can't keep up with the current demand, the rumored 3080 Ti will be made in the same factories and face the same issues. Although cards further down the stack, like the 3060, may have better stock based on binning and how successful the yields are for the higher cards. But right now, it, the product stack for NVIDIA is very messy and complicated. The new rumoured, or leaked depending on how you want to look at it, RTX 3080 Ti with 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM sounds impressive, but if you manage to get hold of a 3080, is it worth upgrading? If you haven't been able to get a 3080 yet, is it worth waiting? And if you've been eyeing up the 3090, Will the 3080 Ti be a better choice? While we don't have the specs or the price for the 3080 Ti, we can make a very educated guess as to how it will perform. It will sit right between the 3080 and the 3090. The 3080 has 8,704 CUDA cores and the 3090 has 10,496 CUDA cores. So the 3080 Ti will probably have around 9,500 CUDA cores. We know it will have 20 gigabytes of VRAM, which again puts it right in the middle of the two cards. Boost clock is very interesting because the 3080 standard is slightly faster at 1.71 gigahertz versus the 1.70 for the 90 but the boost clock for the 3080 ti will heavily depend on its cooling and we don't know its form factor if the ti is a two slot card it's likely not going to be above 1.7 but if it's a 2.5 or 3 slot card then the boost clock could be as high as 1.79 what does it all mean will the 3080 ti outperform 3080 Yes. Will it be noticeable? Probably not. The extra VRAM will be useful for more or larger textures, but if your current card is performing okay with the games you play in 4K, the extra VRAM won't help. Where it will help will be in content creation, working with 3D models or any kind of graphic work that can take advantage of the extra VRAM. The higher boost and cooler, cooler, cores, cooler cores will get you more FPS. But it doesn't matter how it performs if it's out of your budget, and there's no leaked price yet. But in dollars, the MSRP for the Founders 3080 is 699, and the 3090 is 1499. So best guess is that the TI will be around the $1,100 mark. But that is 60% more expensive. But you are not going to get anywhere near close to 60% more performance. The performance difference from the 80 to the 90 is only about 15% at 4K. So at most a 10% performance bump. So if you manage to get a 3080 or a 3090, you shouldn't feel any buyer's remorse because the 3080 is a powerhouse and the 3090 is a powerhouse house. <laughs> when you buy anything that's cutting edge, remember that all, usually always something better will be along in six months and it'll either be faster for the same price or it'll be the same performance for a lower price. If you are always waiting for the next best thing, you'll probably end up getting nothing. So it comes down to use case and budget. If you have $1,100 burning hole in your wallet and you do a lot of 3D work, let it smolder for just a little bit longer because the 3080 Ti performance will come very close to the 3090 and you would have saved a few hundred dollars. If you are thinking you could stretch your budget from 699 to 1100, that's probably not worth it. I can't see the justification of an extra $400 when you won't be seeing an extra $400 worth of performance. If you have Titan money, then grab 2390s and NV Link. Also, I like uh, Blackmagic cameras if you're feeling generous. But let's quickly talk about NV Link because that can be the wild card. NV Link lets two GPUs work together for increased performance, sort of. SLI and NV Link have always been a bit finicky and they don't work with every application or 
game. The 3090 is the only 30 series GPU to support NVLink, but if the 3080 Ti was to support NVLink, that, that could be a very compelling reason to pick one up, especially for uh, content creators and 3D animators. But we will just have to wait and see, because I think that's all the information we can extrapolate right now, and I think that's going to be pretty accurate going going forward but don't just go out and buy anything right now just because it's in stock patience patience grasshopper and have patience because this video is over and thanks for playing if you like this video there's a universal symbol of approval for expressing that emotion and it tells youtube and me that this was a good video and you want to see more and if it's a bad video there's there's a button for that as as well <laughs> and there's a subscribe button if you want to see some more of these types of videos in the future. If you're wondering what to play next, you can check out my review of the Xbox Game Pass for PC up there, or something YouTube recommends right there. So both are on your screen, and until next time, be excellent to each other and keep playing.